Hello and welcome to Saw Key Tech. In today's video, I will show you how to get OTA updates on a rooted HTC One M8 or even a regular HTC One. As you know, part of the process of rooting your HTC One M8 involves installing a custom recovery such as TWRP or Clockwork Mod. We install these custom feature-rich recoveries to be able to gain root access, create full system backups and such. However, these very custom recoveries block OTA updates because they replace the stock recovery of your phone. A stock recovery is what came with your phone and it is a low level recovery with no features other than to reset your phone and process OTA updates which means without a stock recovery you cannot process an OTA update. So therefore we have to temporarily replace your custom recovery with stock recovery to get the OTA update even while your phone is rooted. After you run your OTA update, you can reinstall the custom recovery to benefit from its features. So let me show you how to get that done right now. Now on your phone, make sure you connect that to your uh, PC with a USB cable and let's uh, enable USB debugging. So go to settings, all the way down, make sure developer options is enabled. If it is not, go to about, software information, more, tap that bill number seven times and that is going to enable developer options. Go back, go into developer options, scroll down and enable USB debugging and you're good to go. All right, so the first thing I want you guys to do is head on over to my website post for which I will leave a link in the description below. And uh, on my website post, scroll down where it says required files to download and then click on fast boot and ADB files and download this quickly. This is going to be a quick download, it's a small file. Once it is downloaded, leave this website alone, just minimize this for a second and uh, extract the fastboot and ADB zip file that you just downloaded and you're going to get this. So go inside, go into fastboot and over here, press and hold shift on your keyboard, right click on your mouse and choose open command window here. Once you have this, just maximize if you want, minimize this and type in ADB devices just to make sure that is working and it is in fact working if you see a random number and device next to it that means it is in fact working now the next step is to type in ADB reboot boot loader this is going to take you into the fast boot mode now once you're in the fast boot mode on your phone type in fast boot OEM read CID and make a notation of this CID number here. Okay, so minus CWS underscore underscore zero zero one. Now go back to my website post and click the second link, stock recovery, which is going to take you to this post on XDA developers. Now scroll down and uh, it's where it says stock, uh, stock Nandroid backups. Look for the CID number to match one of these red texts over here okay so let's uh, look where's mine at CWS underscore zero zero one it's right over here okay so you're gonna ignore this link because this is the Nandroid backup we're looking for the stock recovery but I want you to memorize this number 1.12.542.18 okay so you wanna scroll down and here's the actual stock recoveries. Now match up the number we just read to this stock recovery. In my case, it is right over here on the top. So it's 1.12.5.2.18. If you go up again, that was my CID number. That was a number you have to write down. When you scroll down, you're gonna match it up right over here. Okay, so click this it's going to take you to a download website which is a little uh, spammy over here but what you want to do is you want to click one of these download buttons until it works okay sometimes you click these and advertisements pop up but you have to keep doing it I think it's the big black button okay so click that button to download the stock recovery now the next thing I want you to do is to go back over here to my website and download re-download the custom recovery that you're going to be using okay so I always use TWRP custom recoveries and we are downloading this because we're gonna replace the stock recovery 
once we are done with our OTA update. So scroll down. And again, in my case, I have a GSM M8, which is an AT&T phone. If you have a Sprint, go with this. Verizon, go with this. Anything else, you're going to go with GSM. Okay, so click this. Scroll down and click this. Download the newest .img file from here. Okay, so once you have all these downloaded, let's uh, move on to the next step. Okay, so in the next step, here's the um, stock recovery that we downloaded, and here's the TWRP recovery. I want you to select these, cut them or copy them, and put them in the fast boot folder. Okay, so go back in the fast boot folder, go inside, and paste them right here. And uh, reopen that command window if you have closed it. If you if you have it still open, you can keep working on there. So uh, here's the command prompt window. And uh, the first thing I want you to do is what we're going to do is we're going to send the stock recovery to our phone. So type in fast boot. Um, flash recovery space and then we're gonna copy and paste this file name over here which is a stock recovery exactly as it appears now notice that the stock recovery has spaces in its name so it's stock space recovery because there are some spaces here we're gonna have to use double quotation marks so over here do a double quotation mark and then copy over the exact name of the recovery image do not forget the extension dot IMG and end it with double quotation marks and then press enter and that is going to send the stock recovery to your phone alright so the next step is to go and to process the OTA updates if there's one available okay so let's quickly do a fast boot reboot which is gonna send your phone back into normal status and uh, once your phone boots up, all you want to do is you want to go to the settings of your phone. Tap settings, scroll all the way down, and look for AT&T software update. Tap it, and if there's one available, you can uh, click check for updates. And if there's one currently available, it is going to pop up, all right? And then you can go ahead and you can process that update. You have the stock recovery now, so you should not have any problems. So after you process your OTA update, your phone is going to come back to this screen and the next step is to actually reflash the custom recovery over your stock recovery because the custom recovery is in fact much better okay you can stop here if you want but if you want your custom recovery back you need to follow the video to the end alright so go back to your fastboot ADB folder launch it go back inside and I'm assuming by now you closed your uh, command prompt window relaunch it press and hold shift on your keyboard right click on your mouse choose open command window here uh, maximize it over here and then type in ADB devices just to make sure it is working if it is not working re-enable developer options okay and then uh, type in ADB reboot boot loader that's gonna send your phone back into the fast boot mode and uh, from here all you want to do is you want to resend that custom recovery over so type in fast boot flash recovery and then go over to the folder and uh, you simply have to copy this entire file name over to your command prompt and uh, there's no spaces in this file name so we don't have to put the double quotation marks and put in dot img don't forget the extension and press enter all right so we're basically done so the custom recovery is back in its place and uh, now you can go and you can do backups or whatever you want to do with your custom recovery but this is the normal procedure always replace the custom recovery with the stock recovery to get your OTA updates once you process your OTA update you replace your uh, stock recovery with the custom recovery and this is the whole procedure now once you're here you can just type in fast boot reboot press enter and your phone is going to uh, restart and you're you're all good to go all right so that brings us to the end of this video uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and also you can go ahead and connect with me socially on Google Plus Facebook and Twitter 
for which all the links are in the description below. Thank you again and I'll see you the next time. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just throw them down in the comments section below.